uh, these uh, characters and, and this particular story um, had been on my mind for a long time. Uh, but because uh, of contractual obligations and just everything else, uh, living life, um, I didn't really have the time to write it. But I took the time to write it. Um, it was so compelling. Uh, these characters insisted that their story be told. I almost didn't have a choice. Rainwater was inspired by a true story. Um, my father was reared on his father's dairy farm. And during the Depression, my grandfather was ordered by um, armed federal agents to pour out surplus milk. And my grandfather refused to waste the milk when, when there were people uh, going hungry. It's eventually, uh, a standoff ensued, and my grandfather's stance was <laughs> supported by uh, gun-toting friends and relatives, and eventually the agents backed down, and my grandfather continued giving away his milk. This uh, was a vivid memory from my father's childhood, and um, it sparked my imagination. and. Uh, compelled me to write the novel, which became Rainwater. Ella is a woman probably in her late 20s, early 30s, who has a 10-year-old son who is um, uh, challenged and um, she owns a boarding house in this small town. Everything is regimented, everything is under control. She's trying to eke out a livelihood during the Great Depression. Um, and um, so, so her main concern, of course, is holding her livelihood together and taking care of her uh, son. And the cataclysmic event is when um, someone um, among her acquaintances brings Mr. Rainwater as a potential boarder to move into a room which has recently been uh, vacated. Um, Ella senses from the very beginning that, um, that there are going to be changes in her life as a consequence of renting the room uh, to this man but she doesn't realize how um, important those changes are going to be. I, I had in my mind's eye what I wanted the cover um, of Rainwater to look like. When I saw the car going toward the house, I wanted to know who was in the car, who lived in the house, uh, what was going to happen when the passenger in the car got there. It's so evocative of the time period. It's so literal in that um, someone is going to a house and, and when he arrives, things will never be the same. That's what the cover suggests to me and I, I, I couldn't be more pleased with it. Rainwater is definitely a quieter story. Um, there's, there um, are confrontations, but they're not overtly violent. Um, there are no four-letter words. Um, it, it's, it's just a, a much uh, softer book. I, I think it's uh, very reflective of the time in which it's set. It's been said that uh, one of the trademarks of my, my thrillers is an overriding secret, um, uh, something that I withhold until the very end of the book. And sure enough, uh, there is. Um, not until the very, 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 very end uh, does the reader know everything. Uh, I, I believe that they will think they do, but they, they really don't.
my my publisher Simon and Schuster didn't even get the manuscript until May um, of this year, but they liked it so well that they wanted to publish it in time for the gift giving season, the holiday season. So. Uh, the date for publication is November 3rd and I'm so pleased of that because I think uh, this would be a, a perfect Christmas present. But the main thing I hope people take away from it, whether they've read Sandra Brown forever or whether this is their first time, is that it was a simple story that had enormous impact. That it um, couldn't be more plainly told. Um, I didn't try any devices. I just told the story as I saw it in my mind unfolding. And I'd like for them to come away with, that was such a satisfying, um, totally sweet, um, emotionally compelling story.